What is your retirement income strategy? Hi, and welcome back to another Money Not Math conversation. It is Thursday, February 23rd. I hope everyone's having a great day. And today's conversation, we are talking about, or I'm asking you the question, what is your retirement income strategy? Now, if you're watching this or listening to this and are brave enough to share, I'd love to see comments uh, and your thoughts on this conversation because I'm genuinely curious what most people out there are planning to do for their retirement. Or is there just not really a plan at all and we're kind of hoping to figure it out once we get there. All right, so what is your plan? What is your retirement income strategy? What is your plan to make sure you don't run out of money in retirement while you still get to enjoy it, right? I mean, the two extremes would be we just spend it all right away or we never spend anything. We make sure we got a bunch left. How do we thread the needle in the middle and make sure we don't run out of money and we get to enjoy retirement along the way? What is your plan to deal with sequence of return risk? All right, that's like sequence of return risk is your retirement looks a lot different if you enter in 2007 and then have to deal with a crash of 08 right away versus entering retirement in 2010 and then having a full decade of basically all positive returns. So that's how sequence of return risk comes into play is we don't know what the market's going to look like once you enter retirement. So how are you planning to deal with that? Does your plan account for inflation and the rising cost of living before and during retirement, right? So if inflation is only 3%, Basically, every 20 years, everything doubles in cost. If it's higher than that, like 7%, now every 10 years, basically everything doubles in cost. So how are you making sure that your plan accounts for rising costs, which therefore means you'll have to spend more just to even maintain your lifestyle? Does your Are you using this? So here's some just different strategies that are commonly known out there. Are you using the fixed safe withdrawal rate? This is a day one of retirement. You look at the safe withdrawal rate and let's say 4%, 3%, depending on what your financial advisor tells you. And you just, that's your rate for the rest of your retirement. You use the Monte Carlo and you just go, okay, I got a 90% chance of not running out of money. It, I might have a dollar left when I die. I might have $10 million left when I die, but I'm sticking to this rate. Do you use a 10% reduction rate? So you say, okay, I'm when I'm early in retirement, I'm healthy, I'm going to spend more. And then I'll just reduce my spending as I go because while well, I'm getting older, so why would I need to spend as much? Uh, do you use the forego inflation strategy, which basically says you don't you just completely ignore that inflation's a thing and you and you base your spending on your portfolio performance uh, that from there, do you use a guardrail strategy where you understand there's going to be fluctuations in the market. So on good market years we spend more, on bad market years we might tighten the belt, uh, but we understand that. Uh, do you use a required minimum distribution strategy where you basically let the government dictate how you how much you spend based on how much you're required to spend from your accounts? And as you age, that'll naturally go up. Uh, there's more intricacies of that, but I'm just kind of giving you an example. Do you usually inflation haircut? All right. So you kind of increase a little bit with inflation, but not all the way. So maybe if inflation's 4%, you increase your spending by 2%. Um, or is there a different strategy? I would honestly, if you're brave enough to share, would love to hear what your guys' strategies are to, for planning for, in, in, uh, for retirement to account for all of these different questions and the five biggest risks in retirement, those being longevity. The number one risk in retirement, longevity. It's the risk multiplier. The longer you live, the longer your money's got to pay you, so the longer it's got to last, and the more things that may or may not happen while you retire. It's also inflation, right? The longer you live, the longer more the longer inflation has to chip away at your buying power. Uh, market risk. The more the market fluctuates, if you don't have a plan for it, the more it could potentially derail your plan. Health risk. Uh, I I believe are in many situations the two largest costs to you in retirement are going to be taxes and medical expenses. But we don't know what your health is going to be. That's just on average. Um, but that's a huge potential risk. Family risk. Uh, divorce, uh, children moving back in the home and being dependent on you. Uh, there's all these, different, all these different things when it comes to family that even though we love them, they can be risks to our money. And then policy risks. What's going to happen with tax laws and policy laws moving forward that could potentially affect how and when you can use your money. All right. So today's Money Not Math conversation is what is your retirement income strategy? I'm really hoping there's some brave souls out there willing to share I'm really curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are. And if you get if you kind of get through this whole conversation and you're really unsure of what your plan is and you don't have an advisor helping you, does that concern you a little bit? Maybe it's time to take a look. All right, so please let me know what you think. Uh, please let me, uh, by commenting, reaching out directly, uh, like, comment, share, all that's appreciated. Either way, 
I appreciate your time. I hope this brought you value and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.